Hello, welcome to my programming class, Introduction to Programming in Java. My name is Thomas Enne. Today we're going to be discussing access modifier. Access modifiers are keywords that help to restrict the visibility of class and its members. And what it does is that you use it to kind of abstract your class members, be it variables, so that you can specify which section of your program should be available or accessible at a particular aspect in your program. There are basically four types of access modifiers. We have the public access modifier, the private, protected, and default access modifier. The public access modifier, meaning that your variable, if you declare a variable with public keyword, meaning that variable is accessible anywhere within your program. We also have the private access modifier, which restricts visibility of the class member within the class. And we have the protected access modifier. When you declare a variable with the protected keyword, it means that variable is accessible within the package and the subclass. The last we have is no access modifier which we also call a default access modifier. What that means is that um, you declare a variable without specifying a modifier. And when you do that, you only have accessibility or that variable is only visible within the package. Let us do some implementation of access modifier. For example, Let's work on the vehicle class we'll be working on. If I declare the mileage as public, if I include the public keyword, and then um, let's have a subclass, see if we can access it within the subclass. Let's call this class a dealer let's call it oh another vehicle call it another vehicle then we need a method public void let's call this method purchaser we had non no uh argument or parameter then we'll make an instance of the vehicle class Vehicle equals to new vehicle. Then we can use the mileage from the object of this instance we just created. Vehicle dot say mileage. We assign the value to be 120,000. Here we can, we have accessibility of the mileage in the subclass because we declare it as public. So, um, public access modifier. So let's try it in a subclass, in, in a different package. So if I, right now we're on this package, com.tomcoder.vehicle. Let's go to a different package, which is tom.tomcoder.purchase. Let's work on the dealer. If we make an instance of the vehicle class like we did, in the subclass, 
Vehicle equals to new vehicle. Vehicle dot mileage. Let us assign value to be two hundred. So no, we need a method. Let's declare a method public void. Let's call this method the la one. La one takes no parameter, then we can move our instance and the object inside that. So, because this vehicle is from a different package, we have to import the class into this package. As you can see, we have access to the mileage in a different package. So let's play with the different types of modifiers we have. Let's change this to private. If we change this to private, which we said we only have accessibility of the variable within the class. If we change this to private, as you can see here, we have a compilation error in the subclass. So if we go back to the, um, the different package, we have the same issue, which is same compilation problem. So let's try a different modifier. If we change this to protected, we have accessibility within the package and subclass. So let's change this to protected. As you can see, we have access to this variable, mileage variable in the subclass. So go back to um, a different package. We do not have access. So there's no access to the mileage in a different package. Let's try the last one we have, which is no access modifier. That means you're not declaring your variable with access modifier. No default modifier will only give us accessibility within the package. So if we, outside of the package, we shouldn't have accessibility as we see here dealer is in a different package which is com.tomcoder.purchase why this subclass will have access so this is how you implement access modifier but very quickly if you declare your variable with private modifier that means you are trying to abstract your variable the way you can access your variable is using setters and getters. Use the keyword setters and getters. So if we want to access the mileage when we infer the, the, the variable with private modifier, we need to implement the setters and getters method, which is public void we set mileage the mileage is an integer mileage we do this dot mileage that's we're just calling the variable dot mileage the mileage cost mileage then we we'll get it public get mileage this does not take 
public int this does not take um, an argument we only return the mileage only return mileage so to assess it here in the subclass what we do is we say uh, vehicle dot set mileage then we can set the mileage to the number we want so let's say 120,000 so this is how you implement your variable that is declared with private access modifier you use the setters and getters method you do this usually when you want to abstract your variable that means when you don't want your end user to know the implementation of your program you only want to show them the uh, functionality which is what they need you don't want them to see the implementation this is where i'll be ending the video for today and don't forget to like share and subscribe if this video is interesting to you and bye thanks for watching